Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. The Sunday Book Review is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a quick word from our sponsor. The Sunday Book Review for December 11, 2022, the Books on Economics edition. And we begin, or rather continue, our exploration of top 10 books as reported by the FT this week focusing on economics. Up first, Accidental Conflict, America, China, and the Clash of False Narratives. In a short span of four years, America and China have entered a trade war, a tech war, and a new Cold War. This conflict between the world's two most powerful nations would not have happened if it were not for an unnecessary clash of false narratives. America falsely blames its trade and technological threats on China, yet overlook its shaky saving foundation. China falsely blames its growth challenges on America's alleged containment of free market socialism. In a hard-hitting analysis of both policies, author Stephen Roach argues that much of the rhetoric is dangerously misguided, and he outlines the disastrous toll of of a conflict escalation between the U.S. and China, but offers a roadmap to restoring a mutually advantageous relationship. Next up, Economic Diversification in Nigeria by Zanabe Yuzman. Nigeria has long been known as the poster child for the curse of oil wealth. Despite this, Nigeria achieved strong economic growth for over a decade this century. Since the turn of the century, policymaking by successive Nigerian governments has been oriented towards short-term crisis management, restoring growth and selective public sector reforms. To diversify the Nigerian economy, the author argues that successive governments must reorient it toward a consistent focus on pro-productivity and pro-poor policies alongside comprehensive civil service and security sector overhaul. Next up, mega threats, the 10 trends that imperil our future and how to survive them by Nouriel Rubini. Uh, a world-renowned renowned economist uh, who was nicknamed Dr. Doom until his warnings of the 2008 housing crisis uh, came, but unfortunately too late. He's back now with scarier problems, ones that we ignore at our peril. There are no fewer than 10 overlapping interconnecting threats that are so serious he describes them as mega threats. Today we're heading towards a great stagflation that may look like the 1970s were moderate. There's a slight chance we can avoid it, and the author gives his prescriptions for doing so. And our final book is The Cashless Revolution. In this book, author Martin Chores Pima notes that the starting point of how China's revolution in finance and tech is changing Wall Street is in the cashless revolution. Uh, it's the future of finance. Whether you believe in crypto or not, this cutting edge a finance is now uh, a part of China's cashless revolution, and it's forcing major financial firms in the U.S. to figure out how not to be left behind. If you didn't get the chance to check out last week's episode, it was on Top Books and Tech. Check it out. The Compliance Podcast Network was recently honored with several communicator awards. For podcasts, I know you will want to check out. Are you interested in Lyme disease? Well, check out Understanding Lyme Disease. And check out the Hill Country Podcast, where I look at the people, places, and things of the Texas Hill Country. I recently posted a new podcast series, The Big Empty, on 21st century economic issues facing the state of Texas, where, together with author Lauren Steffi and using his book, The Big Empty, to introduce five key economic topics facing the state of Texas. It's a fusion of fiction and current fact that I know you will enjoy if you're a book reader, if you're an economist, or just a listener. And we actually have one more, which is the board's role in compliance, where I'm joined by my colleague, Jonathan Mark 
partner at Baker Tilly, where we look at the role of the board of directors in compliance, starting with the Caremark Doctrine and carrying that forward and answer questions on how a board can fulfill its obligations under a best practices compliance program. The Sunday Book Review is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network.